Welcome to this section on bricks, beads and bones. Mainly we will be discussing on the Harappan civilization. You can see few pictures here and the location which is located on the northwestern part of India. In this module we are going to look at the subtopics that we are going to cover in this course. The first we will be looking at the different sources which give us information about the bricks, beads and bones. Why was the Indus Valley Civilization so called the Harappan Civilization? Why it got the name as Harappan Civilization? We are going to study in the second module. Third, we will be looking at the similarities and differences between early Harappan and late Harappan Civilization. Next, we will be learning about the subsistence crisis of Harappan culture and mature Harappan. Then we will look at the case study of Mahanjadaro, a planned urban center. Then we move on to track the social differences, find out about the craft production, identify the centers of production, strategies that are used for procuring the raw material, seals, script and weights, the complex decisions which are taken during that period by the rulers, discover, how did we discover about the facts, invasions which were on, done on the Harappan civilization during that period, then last, the problems of piecing together the past. These are the different modules which we are going to cover in this course on bricks, beads and bones and our case study or our focus is on the Harappan civilization. As you can see here, it is on the location on the northwestern part of India. Stay tuned, we will catch you in the next section.